promise you, Frey. The true enemy won't wait out the storm. He brings the storm. And the war for dawn rages on. Yeah, really cheesy intro. How's everybody doing out there? Episode 2, winter is here. It's not coming like in a week. It's not like we didn't pass it last week with the bullshit snow. No, it is here. We're dealing with it. And we're, we got to deal with John right now. Right. If you're if you're new to this channel, it's me, Stizzy. Thank you guys for being here. If you're not new to it, you know that we are playing as the Night King. Thank you so much for the love from episode one, and um, this one's for a special somebody. <gasps> Word. I've got to acknowledge everybody. Thank you so much. I love everything going on in the comment section. But let's jump right into it. Yeah. So. We, yeah, you know, we're playing as a Night King. We're currently dealing with John, and we've got this battle of Skirling Pass. Right, so we should we should totally annihilate these guys pretty easily. So let's just go ahead and run the game and get that done. All right. So, but we can't get too confident, right? You know, because we've got John, and all of those forces are coming up north really, really soon. So let's go ahead and get these 500 troops. I'm not sure where the hell they came from, but they're here. Let's go ahead and consolidate those forces, right? So as of right now, we could see already that they've got troops that are heading up north soon. And for those of you that aren't too sure if you guys think like the White Walkers are like a formidable military force, they're really not. They suck in battle. Uh, just being straight up with you guys. So we've got to kind of like go on the... We've got to go on the on a on a front foot first. Yeah, that shit didn't come out good at all. We, we've we've got to attack them first. That that's basically what I mean. So let's go ahead and let's get these troops. L let's see who we can attack first. So we've got these guys. They're going to Castle Black. Uh, we've got these troops over here being led by Tormund. They're gonna arrive in Antlerville. So that's where we're gonna go. That's where we're going to go and take our troops. And we're going to hold off on using the dragon as long as possible. Because we don't really want to give John and Danny that kind of like fuel. And I don't think Danny's in the war as of yet. Let's let's check in real quick. Let's, let's actually see where what Danny's up to real quick. All right, let's go back. So we're currently at war with John. Okay. So, wow, look at that. John is now married. All right, let's go back up to the battle. Let's make sure, like, that's going good. Yeah, so John has actually, let's see if he's actually still smashing Daenerys, because that would be totally, yeah, he's still smashing. All right. Um, but he's gotten married, which is really, really interesting. Okay, so Daenerys still hasn't joined the War for Dawn. And yeah, that is like totally not what we expect, but it's okay because we still don't know if John actually invited her, but she has, she has started attacking Cersei in the war over the Seven Kingdoms. Okay. All right. So they're dealing with what they're dealing with down there and they don't think that we're a threat. Well, that's the mistake that they're making because we're going to come and slaughter everybody, but we've got to get through John first. All right. So let's pick up the ticker a little bit. Yeah, so you see these troops are reinforcing right now. So this, I think they had about like 3,900 troops before. Now they've got about 4,200. And our guys are just taking forever to get over to Antlerville. All right, let's actually pick up the game speed just a little bit. Yeah, because this is, like I said, uh, this playthrough, I guess, is going to be like heavily war-based. All right, so let's slow it down a little bit. Let's actually pause it. Let's actually see what's going on in the battle. All right. So you've got Tormund, right? So you've got Tormund of Giants, man. We all know him from the show. Yeah, he's the one that, you know, um, loves Giants Milk. We'll just leave it at that. No more spoilers. Word. Um, but he's leading from the center flank. So let's get back over to the war. Well, no, not from the center flank. He's leading from the left. Right? Yeah. And we've got Captain Halleck. 
He's from he's he's a wildling, okay. And we've got Lord Torin. He's from Pines End. All right. So we all know Torin. He's got a pretty good marshal. He's got twenty three. Right. This what what are his combat traits? Let's actually check that out just a little bit more. All right. So he leads from the rear. So he's kind of like the Night King. Eh. I don't really not like um. In the show, he doesn't really lead from the rear. He's a pussy though. Just me straight up with you guys. Yeah, he's always retreating and falling back. I'm not. He, he's big. He's good for the battle, but I'm not a huge fan of Tormund. Just that's just me. But in terms of a character here, you know this combat trait. Eh, you know, I guess his defense is gonna be pretty good. So uh, even though we should probably definitely take this battle, and this should be the battle of Antler Vale. No, it's the Battle of Antler's Fork. Excuse me, not the Veil, but the Fork. Got you. All right. Um, we, we should be able to take this, but the defense that these guys have is actually heightened pretty well just because of Torment over here. All right, so let's actually check out this character over here. This is Captain Halleck. Yeah, the Widowmaker. All right, so he's actually... Yeah, I think he's actually part of... Uh, yeah, he's part of, I guess, a wildling mercenary group called the Wildling Raiders. All right, and his marshal isn't that good. He's only at a 13. But he's, yeah, he's got the defender combat trait. Okay, so that's more defense that we're dealing with. All right, and the last person is the schmuck from Pines End. Yeah, Lord Torin. Let's check him out. His marshal's pretty good. He's at a 16. Wow. Um, he's actually... He's actually also fighting this war, the war for Dawn, and he's also fighting for Daenerys in the war for her to take over the Iron Throne. Okay, pretty interesting. But his combat traits are that he's unyielding, so yeah, he gets 20% of the moral defense, and he also gets an uh, extra 10% boost just overall. So yeah, their, their defense is going to be pretty good, but again, we outnumber them a lot to a little, so we should be able to take this battle. And we still haven't had to use our Dragon Viserion, so that's really, really good. Yeah, we've got to take out as much of these Northmen troops or as much of these smaller groups. Because when we start hitting them and they've got like 20,000 troops combined and stuff like that, we're going to be totally screwed. Alright, so um, through that battle, we actually lost one of our kinsmen. Oh, and he's like one of my OGs. Yeah. And isn't this crazy? He was killed by Jamie Lannister. In personal battle. Let's see what... Yeah. That is crazy. Jamie got the job done. And we all know Jamie. He's right. He's like one of the best. Even though he only has one hand. Because he has one hand currently. Right? Even though he only has one hand. He's still a formidable still a formidable character he's a knight and he actually even has a formidable fighter trait that marshals at a 20 yeah yeah jamie got it done and he actually has valyrian steel i'm pretty sure let's check it out okay i'm not sure what this is but he does have widow's will and that was his son's well no, I don't think it was Tommins. I thought that was, um, I thought that was freaking um, Joffrey's. Okay, but the game has it as Tommins' sword. All right, but he's got Widow's Will, and he's and that's Valyrian still, so he's gonna be able to take out a White Walker, and he's actually done it. All right, so we're just gonna give him a small private funeral, and because it's CK two, right? They actually, right? You know that they're gonna have those events and all of those things that are kind of like politics wise so we, we might kind of like go the whole route of not paying attention to them right like giving my white walker cousin a funeral and all of that stuff so um yeah we might just kind of like skim through some stuff and the the politics or the events that make sense or the notifications that make sense we might just acknowledge those all right so we got another notification let's check this out news from the battler of antlerville your kinsman white walker has been slain yeah we just went over all of that yep and yeah we know that jamie killed him okay but we should still take this battle. And it's looking good for us. Is it? Is it? Yes. Alright. 
So we've won the battle of Antler's Fork and we've actually imprisoned Jamie. So this is pretty interesting. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Because I've been playing around with something just in my head because I'm crazy. Like, I've been really thinking about if we were able to kind of like take over certain territories or kind of like imprison certain characters, I know that we don't have an option to do this in CK2, right? And like I said, I'm going to work myself up to a mod, like eventually, maybe like in the next two years or so. But I'm not sure if we could just do it by like manipulating the safe file. I'm actually going to look into that. But I wonder if we could create an option to turn your imprisoned foe into a White Walker or an other, you know? Because I think that's, that's probably what... That's probably like that that is what the Night King does, right? He kills you and then he turns into an other. Or he turns you into all white. You know, depending on like whatever you're going by, whether it's the books or the TV show. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think Jamie is going to become Yeah, the first character that has fallen to the Night King. And this is crazy. But um but yeah, I think we're actually going to yeah, we're actually going to do it. All right, so we've imprisoned Jamie, and now how do we turn him into an other? All right, so we're going to do the following. Let's turn on the character info. All right, so I'm pretty sure that we have to change his culture first. Let's go ahead and do that. But I'm trying to see where is the culture. Yeah, we're actually all doing this as we as we game right yeah you guys are actually going to get some behind the scenes look into how we're actually going to change jamie into our white walker minion yeah okay so we've got all right so let's go ahead and switch up the way he looks now gfx culture we'll go ahead and Right, who is he as a character? 3190. Yeah, I'm just talking to myself while I kind of like manipulate the game. Okay, so now that we've got him in there, now what is their. What is their. Yeah, their culture should be white. White Walker. Let's see if it went through. No, it didn't go through. Wow. All right, maybe we have, go ahead and try it now. Nope, didn't go through. Okay, I think I maybe have my stuff in, in the wrong order. Let's see. GFX, culture, okay, so we got that. I think I might have too much space. Yep, that was it. Nope. Now I think we have to add an underscore right here. And this should get it done. Yep. So now Jamie. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you so much for your patience with that, right? Yes, but we have officially turned Jamie into an other. All right. So now we're actually going to... Um, even though he's in, he looks like an other, right now we actually have to change him into an other. Let's go ahead and switch up his culture now. Now I'm pretty sure. So what we've done so far, we've just changed the way Jamie looks as of right now. So what we're going to do now is actually change his culture. Yeah, so now he's actually a white walker. All right, so let's see um, what's, his, what's his opinion of us now. All right, let's run the game a little bit. All right, so yeah, we're we're gonna get back to Jamie, and he's in our prison. He's not going anywhere, right? He's a he looks crazy. He's a White Walker. He at least looks like a White Walker. What we've got to do now is move these troops that are over here, and let's send them over to the next territory. No, we're gonna be merciful. We're going to be merciful. We're going to only just put him into house arrest until we figure out how to convert him into one of our um, 
into our army of the dead and and for me i'd love to have jamie as like a commander right or like a senior figurehead in my army of the dead because he's that dope he's the freaking king slayer you know he he's got like all the tools to fit in at least with the guy that has the yeah, I know he can hang at least with the guy who has like who's going bald. <laughs> Everybody knows that White Walker. He's like the famous one, the one that is like without a shirt and he has like the staff and stuff. Um, yeah, he's at least more. He's at least better poised to be a better character than that guy. All right. So um, yeah, this is some of that weird politics stuff that we're just gonna go right over. Yeah, because that just really makes no sense. All right, so our troop total of about 24,000, they're making their way over to the fork top, and we should take out the army of the commander, uh, and this guy's name is Denz. I'm not sure who Denz is. We'll take a closer look at him when we actually get into the battle. All right, so we're, let's chill out. Let's check out who we're actually fighting against. All right, so... We've got this Commander Dennis of the Shadow Tower. Yeah, wow. He's from House Malister. And I think they're in the Trident or the the Crossing. Yeah, I think they're, their family's kind of like down there in the Crossing. Let's check it out. All right. So the member of their house right now is, yep, Lord Jason of Seaguard. Yep, and it's in the trident. I figured that much. All right, now he's currently at war with the Iron Isles. Okay. He's actually attacking Euron and the Iron Throne. Oh, wait, so Cersei's attacking Euron to take over the Iron Isles? But they're, they're allies. That shit is crazy. All right, let's 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 get back up to the north before we get, like, a little too, um, we get a little lost in all of that. All right, but that's where Commander Dennis's house is from. And, yeah, he's a pretty good character that marshals at a 17, even though he's old as hell. That is crazy. All right, let's go over to his right flank, and that is Commander Cotter Pike of Eastwatch. He's from House Ironfoot. Okay. And, yeah, nothing pretty noble about his house. He's actually probably just a character that the game created. All right, so let's get back to the game, run this, and we should be able to take over this victory as well. Yeah. Because these guys, they don't really stand a chance, and I'm so glad we've stayed consolidated because we're going to be able to start moving south. All right, and the last troop total... All right, it's from, yeah, they're heading over to, their, it's Tormund's guys again. They're heading over to the Fist of the First Men. We're actually going to cut them off and meet them there. All right, and while we meet them there, that should be the last of Tormund's brigade. He, yeah, I wouldn't want any more. And I'm so glad that we haven't had to use Viserion yet. I was pretty nervous because, you know, this army of the north, yeah, they're, they're yeah, and here they fucking come. Yep, you see it, right? Crazy. Yeah, you guys see it. The reinforcements are coming in. And yeah, and guys, I think this is where we're going to leave it at. Let's actually pause it. All right. So, um, yeah, pretty crazy episode. We've take, we've captured Jamie. We've turned him into at least looking like a white walker or not really a white walker because he doesn't have like the whole cut up face thing going on. But but yeah, we, we've imprisoned Jamie. We've turned him at least into a white you know, and we and I'm gonna try to figure out how to turn him, how to kind of like move him to our side of things. You know, he's already he already likes us because we both have the culture of White Walker, or at least we both look like White Walkers. Yeah, but now we have to figure out how to bring him into our realm. That is the next thing. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's been a really really fun series so far. It's been probably. My most popular series to date. It, it's, yeah, the feedback I'm getting is crazy. I love it. And, uh, yeah, you guys know what we need to do. What, Yeah. Let's grow this channel. You know, let's, let, let's really build a community. I love what I'm getting right now. You know, really, let, let's grow it. Subscribe, hit that like button, comment. All of these things really help us in reaching our goal, which is maybe 500 subscribers before the end of this year. Yeah, I think we can do it. 
I really think we can do it. You guys are enjoying the content. I'm enjoying doing it for you guys. And yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it at because I'm going to get all like messy eyed and shit. And I don't want to do that. But it's been a dope one. Play some CK2. You know how it is. Um, and yeah, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Peace. Bye.